Hello, but everyone. Gather round for a message straight from the heart of the divine. This isn't just another broadcast. It's a lifeline. A beacon of truth in a world veiled by uncertainty. So, open your hearts and minds. For what you're about to hear could change your life forever. Beloved child of the Most High, as the sands of time continue to shift, there are eternal truths that remain steadfast, unwavering in their significance. The love of God, His Word, and His eternal grace, they form the bedrock of our existence. To stray from His path is to court calamity, for in his embrace lies the fulfilment of our deepest yearnings. God beckons us to a life of service, for in serving him, we find our true purpose. His promises are manifold, but so too are his warnings. While his patience is boundless, his wrath is not to be trifled with. Let us heed his call, for his love is boundless, but his justice is swift. As we stand on the precipice of a new era, the signs are clear, seek righteousness, and forge a deeper connection with the divine. Reflect on the purpose of Christ's sacrifice, for therein lies the key to our salvation. Let us not squander the gifts bestowed upon us, but rather cherish them as the precious treasures they are. In a world awash with fleeting pleasures and hollow promises, our souls yearn for something more, a connection that transcends the temporal. God offers us this connection, a lifeline to eternity, if only we would reach out and grasp it. So, my friends, let us not delay. Let us turn our hearts toward heaven and seek the love that fills every void. For in God's embrace we find solace strength and everlasting joy. As we bow our heads in prayer, let us surrender our fears, doubts and insecurities to the one who holds all things in his hands. May his grace wash over us, renewing our spirits and guiding us on the path to eternal life. And to those who feel the stirring in their souls, who sense the call of the divine, I urge you to subscribe to this channel, to join us on this journey of faith and discovery. Together, let us shine the light of God's love into the darkest corners of the world, illuminating the path for all who seek redemption. May the blessings of the Most High be upon you all, now and forevermore. Amen. Absolutely. Pondering about reaching out to God beyond times of need is indeed profound. Let's delve into how we can deepen our connection with the Divine, not just seeking blessings, but also offering our love and gratitude. Have you ever considered the beauty of reaching out to God not solely in moments of desperation, but also to express your deepest affection and appreciation? Many of us fervently pray, entreating God to touch our lives, to shower us with blessings, and to infuse our days with joy and peace. Yet, have you ever contemplated reciprocating this divine favour? 
Just as we long for God's touch in our lives, God too yearns for our love, our faith, and our devotion. He desires a profound relationship with us, one that transcends mere petitions and needs. He craves our praise, our thanksgiving, our time, and our affection. For God is not merely a celestial benefactor who grants our wishes or resolves our dilemmas. He is our heavenly Father, overflowing with unconditional love, yearning for an intimate connection with each of us. So, how can we truly touch the heart of God? It commences with acknowledging his presence in every facet of our existence, not solely in times of tribulation, but also amidst moments of abundance and joy. It entails dedicating time to commune with him, delving into his words, endeavouring to comprehend his character, and embracing his boundless love for us. Touching the heart of God further involves obedience to his commandments and striving to lead lives that align with his will. It encompasses loving others as he loves us, extending kindness, compassion, and serving as beacons of light and hope in a world often overshadowed by darkness. Moreover, it entails recognizing that every blessing, every triumph, every ounce of goodness in our lives emanates from him. It beckons us to express gratitude for his boundless goodness, to exalt his greatness, and to worship him for his unfathomable holiness. Indeed, touching the heart of God is not a solitary event, but an ongoing odyssey, a lifelong journey of building a profound relationship with the divine. It's about intimately acquainting ourselves with him, allowing his presence to permeate every aspect of our being and surrendering to his divine will. Let us, therefore, endeavour to touch the heart of God, not solely by beseeching him for blessings, but by endeavouring to bless him with our love, our faith, and the very essence of our lives. May our souls resonate with the divine, and may our hearts overflow with love and reverence for the Almighty. May God's divine presence envelop each soul listening to these words, infusing their lives with his grace, his love, and his boundless blessings. Amen.